。亲爱的，有我陪在你左右，你不用烦恼早餐吃什么，搭配蔬菜和水果，还新鲜的都给你。那么开心。欢迎收看我的频道 ，Welcome back to my channel。你好，你好 ，You good? I hope you're doing great. Today we are going on an adventure to get my glaucoma testing done, and I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it because the last time I went to this eye clinic, I did not get the best customer service. And take note: if you are a care provider, please, please treat your patients as if they're your friends coming to you with a problem, and you happen to be so gifted and talented and blessed to maybe provide them with a solution. So. So instead of treating them like they're a number to fill your productivity, treat them with kindness, like a friend, like your mom, like your aunt. Anyways, today we're gonna go get my glaucoma testing done. I have been blind in my left eye since <sighs> the third grade, and I was diagnosed with Coats disease at、uh, age ten, which. All the eye doctors I've seen have told me there is no way that you have Coats disease. Only boys get that. <sighs> I know. Even the doctor who diagnosed me told me that. That it's weird that I'm not a boy, and it seems like I have Coats disease. Who knows? No one else can give me an answer. So that's what I've ran with my whole life.、Mm -hmm. In case you're very wrong about glaucoma, like I was, glaucoma doesn't only happen in old people. <laughs> I thought glaucoma only happened in old people, so I was super stressed when this. First doctor told me that I probably have glaucoma. Glaucoma is an eye condition where the nerve that connects your eye to your brain is damaged, and so therefore causing all the vision issues. That people have when they have glaucoma. So, in case you're also as wrong as I was about glaucoma testing, I'm taking you on this adventure with me, so you can see all the steps that you will go through when you get glaucoma testing done, and we'll see what the doctor says at the end. Stay tuned to see if I'm gonna get glaucoma or not. Oh God, I really hope not, guys. I mean, all jokes aside, I already have so little vision left that this is. Honestly, pretty stressful. So, <laughs> please pray I don't have glaucoma. I just want to see. I want to be able to see you. I want to be able to see Zoe and my husband and my mom and dad and my sister. So, <sighs> please pray that I don't have glaucoma. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I was there from、um, 11:45 to 2:45. That took three hours. So just know that if you have glaucoma testing scheduled, it's gonna be a good chunk of your day. Make sure you know that. First things first. Symptoms. The doctor told me all the symptoms in case I do need to go back for another follow up. And the biggest, most common thing to look out for is really just gradual vision loss. And I know that like says almost nothing. That's like any eye problem you have. If you have vision loss, yes, go see the doctor.、Um, but he also did tell me that there are two different types of glaucomas and glaucomas. I'm not sure what the plural version of glaucoma is. First type is what I just said, the gradual vision loss, and then the other type, which is more uncommon, is where you may have eye pain associated with nausea. Also, before I get into it, I just need to <laughs> preface by saying that I am clearly not an eye doctor. None of this is medical advice. This is all 
just from patient experience in case that you happen to also be a patient and you have to go get some glaucoma testing done you know what to expect and the very first thing i want you to know is to not wear your contacts if you are a contact wearer because very soon after i got there the eye doctor told me to take my contacts off because they do so many things with your eyes and they're touching your eyes they are putting lenses in your eyes to magnify your eyes. So there are just so many things that makes the contact get in the way of what they need to do. Opt in for glasses that day. That really is my biggest advice is to opt in for glasses that day. And then another thing to not do is to not wear fake eyelashes. <laughs> I know this is so silly, but I woke up today and I was like, you know what? I'm feeling insecure. <laughs> I'm feeling insecure about my short eyelashes, even though I'm going to see my eye doctor. And so I put them on and they really just got in all sorts of ways. You know, try to tone down the insecurity that day and opt out of those eyelashes. <laughs> First up, we have your typical eye chart exam where they give you that occluder and you put it up, cover one of your eyes, and you look at that chart with all the letters, you know, all the letters that go down in size of font. It's painless, it's fast, it's easy. The next test we did was for them to see your eye pupils response to light if your pupils constrict um and for them to really check out the size and shape of your pupils so they just take this little pin light and you just follow it and it's very fast and very easy the next test we did was where they made me cover one of my eyes and i think this was to check peripheral vision the doctor held up either five two or one around the different corners of my eyes and i'm supposed to keep my eyeballs exactly on his face i'm not supposed to move it around so i can really see the numbers i'm supposed to look straight at him and just to see if i can see the numbers even when i'm not directly looking at it and it was also pretty easy pretty painless i think i passed before they moved on to the next test this is something i really really appreciate it in patient experience is pain management so important when your patient's pain is managed they are more likely to participate and they are more likely to be present they dropped some eye drops in my eyes to numb my eyeballs because the next thing they were gonna do was that they were gonna touch my eyeballs my trick is always to just look really up like almost as if your eyeballs are rolling to the back of your eyes so that you can't really see when it's coming and you just let them drip in there after they numb my eyes they took my intraocular pressure uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if your eye pressure is too high and I think the normal range for eye pressure is anywhere between 10 to 20 and he said that mine was I think 13 and 14 so after they took my intraocular pressure they took me to the slit lamp and this is probably something that you've all seen in an eye doctor's office it's like this tower of magnifying glass and it has really bright lights and you come up to this stand on your chin that was really bright and it took a while but other than that it didn't hurt or anything and also i mean my eyes were numb at that point so it was great <laughs> the next test was actually what I thought was the hardest, most difficult test out of them all. It felt like you were going inside a Baymax. It was like this white round bubble and you're supposed to put your face in it. And there's all these dots inside with a diamond. So you're supposed to keep your eyeball on the diamond. They have lights that light up all over the entire sphere. They give you a little hand clicker and you're supposed to click, click whenever you see a light flash in all the different corners. So some of them was so dim that it looked just like the background. So then I was like really second guessing myself and wondering, oh, did I, did I just see one? Nah, I made that up. Did I see, oh, <laughs> to the patient's eyes. It felt like 10 minutes. After that was done, they took me to a big camera. This machine was called OCT, Optical Coherence Tomography. No idea what that is. It's a big machine and it takes pictures of your optic nerves. So it takes pictures of the back of your eyes. The only reason this was hard was because they kept saying, <sighs> don't blink. And guess what you do? You blink. <laughs> All you want to do is blink when they say, don't blink. It wasn't bad, but it was just like, oh God. <gasps> Hold your breath. After that was the last test. This last test was where they measured the thickness 
of my cornea. And before they did this, they dropped more eye drops in me to numb my eyes more because the little, it looked like a little pointy, not a needle, but just like a pointy tool that comes super close to your eyeballs. It took a couple tries to like eventually beep. After that, they took me to a room and I waited and waited and waited probably for almost 30 minutes for the real glaucoma doctor to come in. Before this was all patient care techs and students, eye doctors in training, love students. Keep up the good work. And when the doctor came in, he told me that I was low suspect. I was low suspect for glaucoma and most likely because I had so many scars, it just looked like my nerves, my eye nerves were very weak. <laughs> I just don't need another thing and I just don't need another thing for my eye. I'm blind enough as it is and I don't need to go back for follow-up unless I feel any of the symptoms. Overall, I had a way better experience today. I hope you don't have glaucoma. If you're watching this video, I really hope for all the health of your eyes. Good luck if you are going to the eye doctor to get glaucoma testing done. I wish you luck!